Okay, question number one, name the parts of the circle. So the first thing we have is an arc, AF. So that's this arc here, so arc here, A to F. Okay, so that's an arc. It's, well, with arcs, you only have two choices. You have arcs and semicircles, so it's an arc. Then A to B is a line segment, so it's just from here to here, and that's a chord. And D to F, we're looking at from D to F, but we're looking at not just the diameter, but that whole line. Okay, so that's a secant. And then D to F, it's another, but in this case, because D to F, the line segment is a diameter, then this is a whole semicircle. Okay, so semicircle. Then the line segment from D to F is a diameter. Okay, it's just from here to here, it's not the whole secant. Okay, it's just the diameter part. And B to G, B to G is a tangent. Okay, it touches only on one point, so it's a tangent. It doesn't pass through the circle. Okay, so if a line, you only have two kinds of lines, tangents and secants, if it passes through, it's a secant. If it only touches at one point, it's a tangent. Okay, uh, line segment C to B. So that's from C to B, which is the radius. And then we have, now this is supposed to be A, B, D. On your test, it was written A, B, D. But here it's not. So A to B to D. A to B to D is an inscribed angle. So if the vertex is the center, it's a central angle. If the vertex is on the circumference, then it's an inscribed angle. Area R, that's a sector. Okay, so it's this yellow area right there is a sector. And the other yellow area, area S, is a segment. Okay, and that's it for question number one. Have a good day.